Good morning. It's Fish, the Beach Bum Investor, with your cryptocurrency and surf report for the 11th of July 2017. Uh, no surf. It's one foot five knots southwester, so nice, nice breeze, but no swell to speak of. So I'm going to spend the day. Oh, I'll go for a little paddle, but I'm going to spend most of the day checking out this crypto economy. There's plenty of bargains around at the moment. So. Like, uh, Litecoin's trading below 50, uh, it's about 48, actually below 48 last time I checked, so really good buying in my opinion. Um, Bitcoin's retraced back to 2400, just above that, so again, medium to long term excellent buying there. Um, Ethereum's still on the dip, down to 220, I still love it long term, I just, I can't tell you when to buy back in because there's just, there's no signs of confidence restoring at the moment, so. I still think it's a great buy if you just want to catch the falling knife, sure. Um, you might have to wait it out a bit though, that's that's the only thing I'm, I'm saying. Um, Chaincoin, again, I want to speak to you about that today. I've been doing a lot more research on Chaincoin. It is a, it is a high risk, high reward venture that I'm in. Um, I've done some maths to back it up. A lot of my trading strategy is based around numbers. Uh, it's it's pretty hard to argue with math, maths, math, depending on whether you're in the US or Australia. Uh, so I like to figure out some dollar values, some numbers, and, and make sure that I'm buying in mathematically at a, at a good price. And I'll show you, I'll give you a quick ex example of why I think I've done that. Um, actually, the the price for a master node has dropped a little bit. It's down at around 600 US, so you need about a thousand coins for a chain coin master node. And at the moment, it's uh, sitting at 60 cents US. So let's put that up there. So we need uh, a thousand coins at 60 cents, which gives us 600 equals master node. All right, so we've got a $600 master node. Now what's the benefit of this? Residual income. Now I spoke to some people on Slack, YouTube, uh, Steemit. I think that's all the social medias I've figured out how to use yet. And considering two weeks ago I wasn't on any, or a month ago I wasn't on any of them, I. Uh, uh, I've moved into this space pretty strongly. In any case, uh, $600 for a masternode. I spoke to some people yesterday who are already running them and they're getting about four coins per day uh, in terms of their transaction fees. So they're making about four times current price of uh, chain coin. So they're making about $2.40 a day. Now for people like myself who have spent 600 and you can today as well because I just checked the price and that's what it's at. Uh, you're going you're gonna to see a return on this money pretty quickly um, just by running the node. And the best thing about it is you're going to ret retain that asset. So uh, you make your money back and you continue to run it for as long as Chaincoin is profitable. Oh, well, still, a, still an operating um, cryptocurrency. So if we were trying to figure out how long it's going to take for, for me to recover the 600 I spent on a master node, it, it's pretty simple maths. Um, take the 600 I spent. Divided by the uh, the anticipated daily revenue of two dollars forty, and I'll just put the answer up here. But what we actually get is two hundred and fifty days, so less than a year, much less than a year, about two thirds of a year to um, to return the investment and then retain that asset and keep theoretically making money for the rest of your life. So for me. Uh, as long as Chaincoin can keep processing at $2.40 a day, processing transactions where a node holder is getting $2.40 a day, I'm set. As long as that happens for at least a year, I've made money and I retain that asset. Now, if that happens for 10, 20 years, if this becomes one of the big players, I, I literally have a fixed income of, I don't know, 5000 a month if you're looking at Dash. 5000 a month for the rest of my life. That's, that's worth the $600 gamble for me. That's why I've taken it. And I am going to stress that this is a, is a high risk high reward venture, it's, it's an ambitious social experiment, absolutely. But for me, within my budget, it is certainly worth giving it a go. Um, look, if you are interested in just buying the coins, like you, you can't get these sort of returns. You do need to hold a whole, a whole note to do that, so your minimum spend would be 1,000 coins. Um, if that's not in your budget, don't, don't go out and I don't know, mortgage the house or sell your car to get 600 US dollars. It's just not worth it. I can't predict the market I, to, that, to that point. I can only do my research, 
look at the trends and say, yeah, I think this is going upward. Um, so that's what I've done with Chaincoin. I've got some maths to support it up. If you are able to run and hold the node at, at that sort of returns for 250 days, you will make your money back and you'll be into profit, plus you will retain the asset. That, that's the maths behind it. So I can say that very confidently. Will that happen or not? <laughs> I don't know. I think so. I think so. I think Max has got too many followers who are really invested in this to, for it to just fall away in the next six months. I think he's got a long-term vision. And if he was going to abandon the plan, I don't think it would be any time in the next 12 months, which means I'm going to get my money back and potentially make a whole lot. So to me, very, very good investing. Please make your own decisions. Do your own research. Uh, Chaincoin is being traded under CHC. Um, and it's it's available now on, on Cryptopia. So uh, if you jump onto Cryptopia and sign up account, you can actually exchange or transfer money straight into that Cryptopia account from either Coinbase or Beatrix. Or, uh, you can't do it with mining platforms. They warn about that on the site, so please read up. But I've done it successfully both with Coinbase and Beatrix. Um, and a little tip for you as well. I picked up some cheap because they're actually offering Dogecoin to CHC trades and Litecoin to CHC trades. And those volumes are a lot lower. So you do have, people aren't setting up the, the Bibles as, as much um, because there's lower volumes, there's not as much going through there. So you can pick some up cheap on those Dogecoin, Litecoin, CHC trades. That's, I've done that on Dogecoin, I haven't tried it yet on Litecoin. Um, and I picked up some really cheap. So something to look at, you don't necessarily just have to go the BTC, CHC trade. You can have a look at LTC, you can have a look at Doge. Uh, they're, they're options both available on Cryptopia. And as I said, if we're, if we're able to succeed in this social experiment for six months, everyone who's in at this stage is gonna every, at least get their money back. That's, that's the maths. Now, I can't promise it will succeed, which is why I'm begging you to please only invest what you can afford to lose. Uh, but if it does, you, you might just have set yourself up with a really nice residual income uh, ongoing. So definitely worth the gamble in my opinion. Do your, do your research, make your own decisions. Litecoin's great buying as well. So if you're more into the blue chips, I think Litecoin's a great buy at the moment. And I'm going to go, Scotty, I'm going to go um, and uh, have a look at the surf. I don't think there's much around. We might just go out and have a quick paddle at, at D-Bar. And uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day checking out this crypto economy because I think there's great buying at the moment. Oh, by the way, Clams is one that I like on the same. It's taken a significant retracement. Um, it's one I like on the same theory. You, you essentially get paid for holding clams, a residual income again. So, I, look, it's taken a big hit, but long term, I, I, I like the idea. You don't need a supercomputer to run it. You don't need to really know anything about programming. You can have a 50-year-old, well, not 50-year-old, laptops didn't exist then, but you can have a really old laptop and, and just be earning clams on the residual income. So I like that one. Ant shares, that's, I, I put in a sell order and put some advice out to people on Steam and said, look guys, it's overvalued at the moment. It's really hard to actually identify uh, the news coming out because a lot of it's in Chinese. My personal advice is sell. And I sold out of most of my stuff at, at, at the $10 mark, which I was absolutely stoked with because maybe t six, eight hours after I'd done that, see you later. And it's retraced all the way back down. And ever since I put that advice out, all the, the Neo fans, the AntShares fans have been contacting me saying, when, Fish, when can we buy back in? I'm like, well, I don't know. I, I don't have a crystal ball, but my modelling, which is, by the way, most of the time I eyeball it. I don't go nuts with the charts. But I, I figured we were going to take about half back what we'd grown from the from two dollars a share, which is basically where I bought in when it was nice and stable. Uh, we went up to ten. Um, I figured, obviously, we've had a, a let's let's call it an eight dollar growth. Uh, Fibonacci retracement suggests that we're going to take back half of that before we start. Oh, sorry, Fibonacci growth suggests that we're going to take back half of that before we get on the growth pattern again. So simple maths again, two, two to 10 is $8, so we take back, uh, sorry, is an $8 growth. So we take back half of that, which is $4. So from 10 minus four back down to six. And to me, that that's where we look for either it's gonna crash through again and keep going and it's Fibonacci retracement, or it's gonna kick and be back on the way up towards those sort of $10 historical highs, um, or recent historical highs anyway. So on, I'm saying that if you do like ant shares, it might be a good day to get in. I just saw a little bit of a, oh, a little bit of a building confidence off uh, off one of the lows there. It, it does have a downward trend going, um, which most investors will tell you. Just look, the trend's your friend. Look at that. 
Very, very true, very true. But considering I picked this like two weeks ago that it was going to retrace to this point, I've got to stick with my original game plan and say, look, I think $6 is going to act as resistance. I think you're safe buying at that point for the long term. Uh, medium short term is really hard to pick at the moment. The market's going all over the place. I have no idea what that's causing that, whether it's um, a little bit of confidence being lost or people doing the whole wait and see thing with uh, the Bitcoin, Litecoin, Segwit announcement coming out on August 1st. So I can't tell you exactly what's causing this uh, instability in the market and a little bit of panic. Uh, it's probably more than likely a whole lot of newbies again coming in, buying high, selling low. You can do that a couple of times while you're learning. <laughs> I certainly did in the um, in the commodities game and the, the fiats game when I was first getting into it. So look, you're gonna make mistakes, um, especially while you're learning. Getting back on the horse is, is the biggest advice I can give you. Investing is a much, much, better long-term plan for your money than sticking it in the bank at, at two to three percent we're getting it in Australia at the moment and it's a much better much better plan than putting it under the mattress where it doesn't grow at all uh, so yeah investing is a good a good thing to get into as long as you stick within budget and you realize that you don't need thousands and thousands of dollars to get started um, I started my venture in cryptos with 150 Australian dollars which is about a hundred bucks US so you can start very small. Um, the transaction fees allow for that. And if you are interested in getting into the crypto economy, on the back of all this weakness is is a really good time. Um, the reason being is that we know where the historical highs go. We know the market cap is going to go back up to 115 billion again. It hasn't hit all time highs. It's not going to never go past that point again. I Look, I can't speak with certainties in this economy, but goodness gracious me, we haven't even gone close to saturation yet. Until you've got like eight out of your 10 mates giving you tips on the crypto economy, we, we haven't even gone close to hitting saturation, which is when you really start, need to start thinking about things being overbought and start selling off. But we're not even close. We're, we're two, three years away from that point, I think. So the best strategy I can advise for now, especially if you're not proficient with day trading, is just hold pretty much any coin. As long as you've done the research, as long as you've uh, gone and researched the team, what their goals are, how they're going to improve the crypto economy, you'd stand a really good chance of making some money. Uh, again, that's my personal opinion. Please do your research. Uh, I'm going to actually try and get this master node set up. Um, probably not myself. My little computer guy who I met, is um, he's finishing his law exams at the moment, so he's really busy. But once he's done with that, I'll get him to set up the master node for me. And I'll actually report to you each day with the cryptocurrency report about how much how many CHDs I've taken by running the node. And that way we can have an accurate uh, figure from a, from a rookie computer person about how much I'm making per day uh, and how quickly I'll return my investment from purchasing this node. So I, I hope that's gonna be a, a useful little addition for those people looking into, to get into CHC. Uh, it's available on Cryptopia. You can certainly trade not just Bitcoin to CHC, but you can also do LTC and Doge. Uh, and I actually picked up some really good buying on, on Doge uh, CHC because there's not as much volume going through. The walls aren't there, so you can actually you can get stuff a little cheaper at times. So that's a little strategy I used to pick up just a fractional fractional extra amount of CHC, but um, it was good. It worked well. I got it. I got it 20% on the market easily. So um, welcome to use that strategy and. Uh, if you need any help with getting onto Cryptopia, you can exchange straight from Bittrex and Coinbase straight onto Cryptopia uh, to, to start your chain coin venture, if, if that's what you're interested in doing. So 5 to 10% of your budget maximum, buy, hold, we'll work on getting the master nodes up and running and, and start earning this residual income. So that's the plan that I've sort of, I'm not going to say hijacked, I've, I've jumped on board with. I, I really think Max has got a good understanding of economics and a good, un a far better understanding than me of the crypto economy. So uh, his, his logic behind it is sound. It's supply and demand. If the guys who are running the show don't sell their coins, then it only leads to one answer and that's the price stabilizing and eventually going up. Um, it certainly, I could certainly have been pulled into the biggest scam in crypto economy history, but you know, for $600, it was worth the gamble for me. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I want to do some research and try and get some buy orders out for my Steam it followers. Um, I think there's really good shopping today. And uh, I'll might check in later tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on how the market's going. Um, if there's any coins in particular you'd like me to research, 
any any of my opinions you'd like shared on, on investing in general or investing in the crypto economy specifically, I'm more than happy to answer you. Uh, I'm, I've just found out how to get my comments on, on YouTube, so you can leave a comment here or uh, steam it. I'm getting much, much better at it because it's the first social media platform I've really I've really engaged with. So uh, if you want to get onto steamit.com, I'm at Beach Bum Investor, fish. Um, and just, just send me question through there on one of my articles or something like that and I'll certainly get back to you um, and if you really want I can make a video on the coin as well that's no problem at all so yeah stay in touch have a good day and uh, happy investing take it easy frothers see ya